Hello everybody, it's me, the BBG, and today we're taking a little bit of a side trip. Instead of doing the ATS mod, today we're doing House Flipper mod tutorial, and it will hit the workshop. I don't know. Stay tuned, we'll find out. Okay, so I decided in just the moment's time, just a few seconds, I decided, yes, I will show you what we can do with mods through the workshop, through Steam, because yes, they have them. Now, if you don't know what House Flipper is, this is where you take a house or even a boat and you clean it up, you decorate it, and you turn around and sell it. It's just like the TV show where they flip this house. It's just called House Flipper. And it's a really fun game. It's a single player game. It is not a multiplayer game, so you cannot play with your friends. Um, but what we do with Misfit Productions and here with the BBG is we spend time as a team together on our Discord, which I'll put the link down below. And we just stream it on our Discord. So you can see what we're doing there. And we'll, from time to time, stream it on our actual streams on Twitch, which I'll put those links down below as well for everybody in Misfit Productions. So, as we normally do, we come here to the Steam Workshop. So we click on Workshop. As you get here to Workshop, you'll see that just like any other workshop and mod workshop there are plenty of things to choose from so I've already chosen most of the stuff in here I've gone through just about everything there is to go through um, and the things that I really want I have but the difference with this one versus something like ATS with ATS you have to actually add the mods before you play the game the difference here is when you add the mods, and it's simple as this. Let me let me go into something. Let's just go into let's just go into big. And it's taking its time for some reason. Okay. Oh, there's some new stuff. Okay, so this is fun. So we now have a Santa's chimney. So just like the other mod we don't have to click on the actual picture itself we can just click on this little green plus here and it is now added i'm gonna go ahead and get all of this christmas stuff it is that season it is that time of year so i get all the christmas stuff if you want the dinosaurs or the different types of rugs or floors you can click on whatever you want yes they do have statues different wall units um, there's quite a few new items. These were, a lot of these were not in here. So I, I may actually buy some new, or not, not necessarily buy, get some new stuff. Um, but a lot of this is very new. It's very, it's actually refreshing to see that, um, I don't have everything anymore. This is great. I like, and an outside window. This, hold on. This is a game changer. Because we haven't, up to this point, been able to add on to the outside of the house. This is a real game changer right here. A bay window. We may try that. I don't know. Here's another one. Oh my goodness. And I'm in like workshop mod heaven, guys. I'm 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 really quite caught off guard with this. Yes, you can also get machine guns. Um, <laughs> and that's a new one. I don't have that one yet. As you can see, I haven't clicked on the green box. I'm not going to right now. So yeah, you just click on the mods and you click through, just scroll down through, see if there's anything you really, really like. You know, I don't know what this is. A wall, mural, chrome tumble, tunnel. Very interesting. You got some new corner units, which this is a very nice shelving unit. I really like it. Um, yeah, you can see I've, I've got that one. Clay tile roofs. We haven't been able to do any roofing, so I don't know how well that will work. Okay, so you've seen me click on a few things. Oh, look at that. That'll be fun. I'll go ahead and take that as well. So you can click on the picture just like I did there, and you can actually just click on subscribe. Now, this is super easy. Let me show you something. Click over into the game. Hit continue. 
Now this house you see right here, this is my newest house. I actually bought this house uh, for just over $500,000 and I've already invested another $600,000. It is now estimated at, um, if I were to sell it, I could get close to two million for what I've done to it. And I will be showing you to the, uh, this here in just a moment. As soon as it comes up, I will show you the inside of this house and i am very proud of this house it has come a long ways from being the dump that you see right there not finished not painted to what i've accomplished in just a matter of two days of work and i'm not saying i've spent two whole days of working on it i'm not going to lie to you about that you know it's off and on here and there an hour here an hour there uh, but it is time consuming this game is like a vortex that just sucks you in and doesn't let you out. You'll stay up all hours of the night playing a game that is just silly and fun at the same time. You get to use your imagination. You get to be the one to make the decision of what you do on everything. If you don't want it, get rid of it. Sell it. If you want it, keep it. Add carpet. Add tile floors, add wood tile floors, add paneling, pictures, and so forth. Now, as you can see, it is taking a little while to actually load into the game. And the reason for this is because I have a ton of mods. Okay, so when you first get the game, it's going to load in quick. You're going to have to go through the step-by-step -step procedures to earn everything. The sledgehammer, the mops, the cleaning supplies the uh, saws, the axe, the lawnmower, the weed eater, the garden hose, you have to earn them by doing jobs. And it's a simple, simple job. And it's just time consuming. Ah, here we are. This is the front of my luxurious home here. You can see I've got my nice, beautiful car collection. I love my car collection. As you can see up there, my newest addition is the helicopter on my helipad. I'll show you that here in a minute. So let me walk you up here into my garage. It seems to be running a little glitchy right now. I think it's still uploading mods. So this is the front yard. Palm trees are mostly here. I got rid of some trees. As you can see here, there was a, a glitch within the game. I couldn't. There was a planter box um, in this whole area. And I was able to get rid of it, but it would not allow me to put anything else here except for these trees. Which look like they need to still be water for some reason. See a little ring around the tree? That means it hasn't been properly finished, but I know I have. Trees are still alive. Alright, so we'll open our garage door. As you can see, I've got two more cars inside. I redid the floors and I did the walls. Now, all the cars, just so you know, every one of these cars are a mod. Let me show you. You hit your tab button, and right here at the top of the screen, you'll see the little hammer and wrench. This is your mods. Click on your mods, and you have three choices, interior design, renovation, and garden. Now, unfortunately, they really don't have them separated properly. I'll do interior, and I'll get helicopters. Yeah, they even have bongs. I have cars. The cars don't go on the inside, obviously. As you can see, these are all the mods that I have downloaded. I've uh, These sets of books and DVDs and video games for PlayStation and Blu-rays and so forth. These are all for my shelves. Yes, I even have Jack Daniels. It's called Rugged Whiskey Bottle, but we all know that logo. That is a Jack Daniels. Oh, yes, it is. No, not a sponsor, by the way. Here is my newest poker table. You saw me click on that mod. It's already here. I didn't have to do anything special. All mods are automatically added as soon as you load in. Here's another refrigerator I just picked up. Okay, so these are all the mods. I could scroll down here forever. Let me just quickly roll down. You can see I've got a ton of mods. And so far, every single mod, with the exception of this... I don't know why, but this one does not work. It's really frustrating, but it is what it is. So then you got renovations. Okay, so this is like your tiles, your floors, your rugs, um, special entry entrances. I've got these archways that are really cool. I'm really curious to try these out today. 
so we might do that here in a moment and of course i've got that wall uh, this wall actually fell over it lasted a good long time and then i started selling stuff around it on a job at a property i had and then everything just kind of collapsed it kind of was scary and horrible at the same time and then obviously the helicopter i have up top and most of the vehicles the car charger for those that need to be vehicles that need to be charged you can see the cost of some of these the 1920s mafia car is twenty-five thousand dollars yes they are not cheap yard furniture and barbecue stuff swimming pool slides hot tubs kids cars i mean and there's the price in each one it tells you how much each one is for the most part everything has worked well um including the little floats i have not used the gate yet um you can see the car is 2500 8600 so it just depends on what vehicle you get some are more expensive than others the old-fashioned one was by far the most expensive even the helicopter only cost me 1200 bucks so figure that out um <laughs> Uh, the uh, pickup, the blue pickup, is fourteen thousand four hundred. So prices tell you. Okay, so the, this is where you go to get your mods. You can click on them. You can put them on. We're gonna go and try out some of these mods here in just a moment. I'm gonna give you a really quick tour of my house. Ah, here we go. Here's something to show you. This is a molehill. This is pick up your shovel. You pick up your shovel. You push E, and let's see if he's in here. Nope, he's not in that one. No, he was not in that one. There's one underneath my motorcycle. He's not in that one either. So that's one thing you got it. You do have to do is you have to uh, check those molehills because he will terrorize your your uh, your grounds around you. I don't see another one, so he must have bailed out already. All right, so here's my pool area. You can see I've got some seating area. Got my swimming pool, and yes, you can jump into your pool. Okay. Here is the view from my pool area. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely amazing. Can't beat something like that. I'm going to take you up to my helipad. Got my swinging chairs up here, and there's my heli helicopter right here. Now, something I want to try real quick. I'm just curious. I've got this window that goes into my master closet right here. Which, because we're outside, you can't see all the stuff that's in there. Which is kind of weird. But it is what it is. So, I'm going to go here to my mod. Interior design. I believe that's where it was. And it was towards the bottom. So, we're just going to scroll down here quite a ways. And then I'll scroll back up. See if I can find it. Okay, I guess I went down quite a ways. I went down too far. That's interesting. I thought it was all the way down at the bottom. Might have readjusted itself. Or I'm in the wrong place. That's that's what it is. I'm in the wrong place. It's under renovations. Here it is. Okay, so um, let's go with the black one. It's $1,000. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. This is not looking too promising. Not real impressed with this mod right here. Because if I set this down... Can't be red. It's got to be green. So let's set it down. So that... It may look good this way. But there's nothing this way. So we're going to eliminate that one. And the, and here's the thing. The exterior walls on flip house flipper, is, you can't, here's my sledgehammer. You cannot damage these exterior walls. Once they're in, they're in. Now you can do something about the windows. I'm not going to bash on that. That's Those are expensive windows. But the exterior walls themselves are set in stone. You cannot remove them. All right. So, <clears throat> this is the sitting area. This is, uh, you know, where you welcome your friends after they had a long trip on their helicopter into your home. They can come in, just sit and relax. Get that jet lag off. You know what I mean? The helicopter jet lag. Or if it's you, if this is your home and you decide to purchase this, which this is going to be my home. I've decided this is going to be my, my go-to now. I love this house. It's actually amazing. And here is my master. That's the view from my master. 
I did some very basic modeling. I didn't do a whole lot so far. I uh, do have my, you know, wow, wow, wow lights right here. So just in case, you know, the wifey poo and I decide to get uh, a little freaky. That's not going to happen in this house, by the way. We don't do that. No, we're too old for that. Turn my lights on. As you can see, I've got the ambiance on so I can turn the lights back off. At nighttime, it looks really, really cool with just that. I'm going to put some candles down here eventually. You know, so I got my towel rack. I've got my shower. No, you cannot turn on the shower, just but you can turn the lights on and off. And then if you need to go to the restroom, I have secluded the restroom with a hanging toilet. Yes. And then you got your sink, your mirror, and then the walk-in closet, which is my wife's favorite thing I did in this entire house. Which I would say, I'm patting myself on the back. This is any person's dream of a walk-in closet. It is absolutely amazing. And none of this, by the way, is a mod. Every one of these are available. Everything in this room is available through the game. You just have to earn it. Okay? Keep that in mind. The more you do, the more you earn, and the more money you make, and the more you can buy stuff like this. So, that is my master. I'm going to take you downstairs to the next level. This is my living room. I've got it all Christmas decorated up. Got my tree and everything. Got my furniture in here. And of course the view from here is amazing as well. Can't beat a view like this. Moonrise Bay is the name of the town that we live in here. Welcome to Moonrise Bay, by the way. That is the entrance of the actual, that is the actual house entrance from the front door. That is my front door. And that is my front hallway, which we'll get to in a minute. Show you the kitchen. Yes, you have a double open bay doors to your back patio, which goes around the side of the house. And again, a great view. So you got your little breakfast nook, you got your bar, you got your kitchen and all the cabinets and a walk-in pantry. And all these cabinets actually open up so you can put storage in. And yes, there are stuff that you can put in here. If you want to put dishes, you want to put cups in here. Um, there are fruits, there are mods that have uh, different vegetables and stuff. So if you want these to be vegetable bins, you can put vegetables in here. Uh, you can put storage containers on the shelves. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do. I just haven't done it yet. As you can see, here's a bowl of fruit. And no, it does not go bad. So just so you know. And most of the cabinetry does open in some way. The only thing is you cannot put anything in the drawers. Um, you can put stuff in the cabinets on the shelves. But you cannot put anything, for example, uh, let me grab this coffee. I cannot put the coffee in the drawer. So I, I, that is something I wish they would change. Uh, put too many fridges down here just in case. You never know what you might need. So just be creative. Be inventive. All right. So this is a exit to my pool area, which you've already seen. My office here. I got my prize flasks and drink cups with my lighted uh, little character lights. And it was so dark over here, I added these little characters to it. Got my sword. Got all my lightsabers. Yes, they offer lightsabers. Yes, I am a huge Star Wars fan. I love Star Wars. As you can see, I've got R2-D2 and I got BB-8 back here. I also love dragons, so I have a bunch of dragon eggs. As you can see, I've, I put the PlayStation DVD movies and games and stuff back here. Uh, some signage on the wall. These are mods. Okay, these archways here are not part of the game. You have to get the mod. Again, just click on it. Just click on add. Oh my gosh, it's so easy. Watch. You go here. You go to mod. Renovation. There's one of them. I haven't used this one yet. And there's the other one right there. Booyah. It's in there. Okay, so it looks like this one is an external, but these you can tell, the one I tried earlier, these are internal. Um, so these you would have to use on the inside of the house. Why you would do that, I don't know. Um, this one might be an external. We'll have to try that out another time. And then you got banners. So that's how easy it is, guys. It's so easy. Oh my goodness gracious, this game is so much fun. And everything in here, everything you see is done by me. None of this was here. I took out all the doors. I added some walls. 
put up the pictures all the lights have been done all the carpet everything in here is all done by me i took every single bit of this i painted i uh, changed the stairway color uh, put up the walls put up all the pictures everything i took everything out and added more in and actually built this wall because this was all wide open so i added this wall to give me an extra room huge hallway now this bathroom was a was this was a really tiny hole in the wall this is my guest bathroom i decided to give it a little bird's eye view if you might it's got everything you need for a guest i actually i need a trash can in here and a toilet paper holder but it is what it is and here's the guest bedroom i went a little crazy with the guest bedroom i just decided it needs to be very colorful but very green at the same time and you know just had some fun with it right why not that's that's what ha playing a game is use your imagination do what you want it's it's not going to hurt you to put it out there and if you don't like it hold on let me let me show you do you not like that oh here look i earn you earn this right you can sell objects boom it's gone and, and if i want it back psh, i just go back to my rugs and i add it back it's that simple There it is. There it is. And they have different sizes. I don't remember which size I use. Let's look at medium. There it is. And bam, right back. It's right there. It's right there. And what did that cost me? $18.23. And look how much I have right now. 766000 Y'all, before I bought this house, I was at almost $2 million. That tells you how much money I've spent on doing this house. It is so easy to spend money, but it's so much fun. Okay, so got my fish tank. You've seen the garage. Oh, a little bit of a glitch there, a little bit of a delay. You've already seen the garage, so I don't need to show you that. And everything in there is a mod except for the shelves. Fish tank, shelf, teddy bears a mod, ducks are mods. All right, I'm going to take you downstairs. This is the, the final level. This is the third floor of my house. And this one's the fun fun floor, okay? As you can see, this is like my game room. Ping pong table, got some surfboards up. You know, got my my uh, foosball, my neon sign. It was all a dream. It wouldn't it be? Now, behind this door, you're going to see some magic. This is where the magic happens. It is the magic room. Ready? It is my theater. That's right. I have a theater. I have wall lights. I have running wall lights on the side. Very classy. Now, this is the darkest I could find. Uh, there is a dark, like a really dark blue, almost black paint, but I thought this would be a little more exciting. Black couches. At nighttime, when, uh, this room really gets dark. I mean, super dark. I had to actually turn my flashlight on, which is F on your keyboard. See? You can turn I had to actually use this while I was finishing the rooms. It got so dark in here, I was making this room at night. So, I put uh, granite floors down, dark gray uh, granite floors, and a skull wallpaper. And obviously the projector and the wall capture. Alright, this is my workout room. This is my gym. So, get down here and get jiggy with it. I can still get a beautiful view of the city and the ocean. Get on my exercise ball and bounce around the room. I got good vibes and hello sunshine. And behind hello sunshine is my sauna. Oh yeah, get in here. Get all hot and bothered. Oh yeah. Come back out, grab a towel, and head upstairs to the shower and go get it all cleaned up. And that's that's all there is to this, y'all. It is so easy. Take the time and just have a blast with this game. It, it makes no sense to not even have this game. Why do you not have this game? Why do you not have this game? You need to have this game right here, right now. Download the mods. Get all these cars. The mods are free, okay? I can't say that enough. The mods are free. So until you earn all the other stuff that you need, you can utilize the mods to make your stuff look dope. Don't be a fool. Don't do it wrong. Don't do the wrong thing. Do the right thing. Get into the groove and do the real th real deal. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. That's all we had to do today.
That's it. The mods are so easy. I say it all the time. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Don't make it hard on yourself. Enjoy games. If they've got something like this, if you can go to Steam and go into the workshop and get free stuff, get it. What does it hurt to get what what does it hurt to get something for free? Nothing. Who's it hurting to get something for free? Nobody. Matter of fact, the creators love that you're gonna put this stuff in your games. That's why they do it. They put it in theirs and then they make it for you to put in yours. So enjoy it, everybody. Enjoy your mods, have a great time, and we will see you on the flip side of the moon. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll put whatever links I can down below. We will see you guys next time.